back in March of 2020 when we first locked down, I was really disappointed because I like to make connections. I'm still looking for, uh, well, two very important figures in my life, right? A life partner and potentially a business partner to one day start a business with my uh, computer games and machine learning. But we locked down and I, I understood why we locked down. Now I was working at a tutoring center. I lost a lot of hours of work, obviously. And also my hourly rate was also cut. Now, early on in the lockdown, I moved out to Ellensburg, Washington. I was in Seattle and I moved to Ellensburg where the cost of living, especially the rent is a whole lot cheaper. The food is quite a bit cheaper too. And um, when I uh, was, uh, started getting more students at the tutoring center and I was working remotely what really hit me was that I would have a client who I might have tutored for an hour sometimes even half an hour I got younger students and um, after I would be done with that I would um, well first of all a one hour session really did take one hour there was no commuting there was no, um, sometimes the students at the center, they like to show up late. Sometimes there's a little, little bit of um, discussion with the parents and a little, little small talk and all that. When it was online, it, it really was one hour. And I also didn't have the expenses of commuting to the center. And so even though my rate was cut, the entire amount minus the taxes went straight into my pocket. There was no overhead and all of that. And the cost of living there was a whole lot less. And um, yes, I may have missed out on making connections, but you know what? I log on to my computer and I can meet people halfway around the world, which I like better, by the way. I talked about this in other videos. Here in the United States, we love to, be, to mess with other people's uh, personal lifestyle too much. Um, in other parts of the world, people actually live and let live. So I really enjoyed some of that. Even though I didn't get to meet anybody that I got to know uh, online. There was um, one girl that I was talking to online. She's from Gdansk, Poland. And this was back in April 2020. I naively thought by June, the, the lockdown was only until June of 2020 at the time. I naively thought that at the end of that lockdown, I would jump on a plane and go see her. Little did I know that a year after that, uh, still we can't go anywhere. Anyway, so um, now we're talking about reopening the tutoring center and also the university where I, I'm an adjunct professor. And I'm thinking to my, I was doing the math and I realized that having to go back to the office would be the equivalent of taking another pay cut of at least 50%. I mean, the cost of living over there, first of all, my living standards are going to be a whole lot less, right? I have a one-bedroom apartment here over in Seattle for this, for more than I pay over here. I'd probably have to share an apartment with somebody, maybe even share a one-bedroom with somebody over there, right? Uh, now, ideally, I would meet my significant other and then share it with her. Uh, that would be a little bit more comfortable than sharing it with somebody that I'm not uh, as close to. Uh, but short of that... Uh, not only that, but I won't be able to eat out all the time, right? I, I love being able to mingle with others. Although, if we're going back to the office, I got plenty of other people to mingle with. So that's not the end of the world. But more importantly, now a one-hour session is going to take more like two or three hours, right? If I if I don't have the, the luck of getting them consecutively at the center, which I often don't, right? So um, instead of spending one hour and making some amount of money, now I'm going to be spending two or three hours and having overhead. So I did the calculate, and the cost of living there is going to be a whole lot more. Depending on how you calculate it, it could be a 70 or 80 percent pay cut. And I think that's a big shock to the economy that a lot of people haven't thought about yet.